So now we're finally looking at what we have learned in the previous examples in this lesson to apply to solving a system of equations using an augmented matrix. Uh, we're starting off with just two equations and two unknowns to keep things simple, but the, uh, the, the process is essentially the same uh, e even when we add an extra variable and an extra row, so an extra equation with you know, three variables and three unknowns. But we want to start off with something simple. So our first step is always write the matrix for the system of equations. So if we write this system of equations as an augmented matrix, again, we just write the variables term or the variables coefficients and the constant uh, as numbers in our matrix. So we have two x plus y equals 7, or 2x plus 1y equals 7. So our first row is going to be 2, 1, the line for equals, and then 7. And then we have 1x minus 2y equals 6. So 1x minus 2y equals 6. So I'm going to go in rows here. Uh, if I need a second row, we'll, we'll use the second row. So the first thing is we want, using row operations, we want to get the entry in row 1, column 1. So we want this upper left-hand corner. We want that to be 1. Well, an easy way to do that is just to switch around row 1 and row 2. So we'll make row 2, row 1, and we'll make row 1 row 2. So what does that give us? That gives us 1, negative 2, 6, and 2, 1, 7. So we have the upper left hand corner, the first in row 1, column 1, we have a 1. That's the first step. Now we want to get zeros in column 1 below 1. So how can we make this 2 in the bottom left-hand corner 0? Well, our first row is going to still be the same. So we'll go ahead and write that out. 1, negative 2, 6. Now we want the second row, first column, to be 0. Everything underneath the 1 in, in our first row, first column, we want to be zero. So what do we need to add to two to make it zero? Well, we need negative two. Well, how can we get a negative two added to this? We can put negative two row one plus row two. So we'll look at one times negative two. That's negative two plus two. That's zero. Negative two times negative 2, that's 4, plus 1 is 5, and then 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, plus row 2, which is 7, so negative 12 plus 7, that's going to be negative 5. So now our next step is going to be we want to get our entry in row 2, column 2 to be 1. Well, that's simple enough. We can just multiply. So our first row is still going to be the same. 1, negative 2, 6. We can multiply our second row by 1 fifth. 1 fifth row 2. So 0 times 1 fifth, or 0 divided by 5, is going to be 0. 5 divided by 5, or 5 times 1 fifth, is going to be 1, which is what we wanted. And then negative 5 times 1 fifth is going to be negative 1. Now, effectively, what this means is that y equals negative 1, because we have 0x plus 1y equals negative 1. So we have it in row echelon form. At this point, we have a couple options. We could use row operations uh, to get negative 2 to be 0. So then we have 1, 0, and then some value over here. Or what we're doing for now is we're going to rewrite 
our corresponding system of equations. So let's go down here in our second row. And what does this augmented matrix now represent? It represents 1x minus 2y equals 6. And as I already mentioned, 1y equals negative 1. So we'll substitute into first into our first equation. So then this becomes x minus 2 times negative 1 equals 6. x plus 2 equals 6, which gives us x equals 4. So tentatively, our solution, so our solution, written in this case as an ordered pair, is going to be 4, negative 1. Now, I haven't circled that solution to identify it yet, because what do we need to do? We need to check. So let's check in our first equation. Remember, x equals 4 y equals negative 1. If we substitute that into our first equation, we get 2 times 4 plus negative 1, and we want to know, does that equal 7? So this is 8 minus 1. That does indeed equal 7. In our second equation, we have x minus 2y equals 6, so 4 minus 2 times negative 1 we want to know, does that equal 6? So that's 4 plus 2, which does equal 6. So that checks in that equation as well, which verifies that our solution is 4, negative 1. So our first step is to, well, our first step is to write down the augmented matrix. And then after we write down the augmented matrix, we want to get the first row, first column to be 1. And then we want everything underneath that one to be zero. In this case, we just have one other row. So we, we got our first, uh, or our second row, column one, to be zero. And then we want our second row, second column, to be one. And that's how we know that it's in, uh, in our echelon form. That's how we know it's in row echelon form, is when we have these ones right here. Then at that point, we, we've solved for the second variable, so we can rewrite it as a system of equations. Only it just so happens that our second equation is going to be the solution. And then we substitute that solution for our second variable into our first equation, or our first, into our first equation and solve for the other variable. And then, as always, we check it by substituting our val values that we determined in our solution into both equations and verifying that they make true statements. So the system of equations that we were given, 2x plus y equals 7, x minus 2y equals 6, by putting it in a row echelon form, then rewriting the system of equations that we found, uh, our solution is 4, negative 1. x equals 4, and y equals negative 1.